good. So, prospect of going to the World Cup, how are you feeling? Uh, yeah, excited. How could you not be? Um, obviously, in the moment, it's just though concentrating on every day here and, and making sure we take care of business um, up until that point. But, uh, yeah, I think anybody with the World Cup around the corner, uh, even even for fans, even for, for people just going to watch, it's an exciting time. What do you need to do to get ready? Oh, just continue with, with what I'm doing here every day. Um, you know, keep getting fitter, keep getting sharper. Um, you know, making sure that now when whenever it is that I leave, that I go and I'm, uh, you know, I'm ready right from the get-go. Mentally, is it uh, you know last night to get that win, to get that uh, you know feeling back of a uh, you know winning? Yeah, it was uh, good for sure. Um, you know, like I like I said after the game, I thought um, in a lot of ways it was a, a good, solid performance. Um, you know, certainly we we would have liked to have have, have won two zero, but that's not the way it went. So we you know we're, we're confident that now we'll. We'll go to Vancouver and finish off the job there. The priority is here, obviously, right now, but as you get closer to the World Cup, expectation has grown on the United States national team every World Cup every four years. Do you feel that growing expectation? And um, sure, it's uh, there's a responsibility every time you you step on the field for the national team. You know, obviously, it's 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 a great honor. There's so much pride, um, but it's a responsibility to to represent uh, ourselves and in. Our team and our country in the best possible way. Um, obviously, for as much as soccer is growing, um, you know, in, in the United States, in Canada, all, you know, in, in this part of the world, it's important that now when we uh, go to a World Cup, that now the performances are good, and now we can, uh, you know, really take the the enthusiasm and take the momentum and and, and build on. Excuse me. In terms of your, is there one fond World Cup memory that you have, not including maybe, or maybe it is your own? Um, I was lucky in 1994 when the when the World Cup was held in the United States. There was there was games close to my house. The you know Bulgaria and Italy and Norway all trained not far from me, um, and so you know I can remember going to games. I can remember going over to watch some of these teams train, um, and you know for for a seven year old kid to have a World Cup in your own country and then you know even even closer. Um, to you as far as being able to get to some games and to some trainings is, is an incredible experience. How significant, would you ever talk about that with some of your U.S. teammates, how significant that World Cup was? Because the purpose was to really ingrain into young kids the possibility that, you know, the American kids could play in the World Cup. That could be a significant sport in the States. Sure, it was an important important step along the way, uh, but they all are. You know, every, every, time, uh, every time this World Cup comes around, it's a chance, uh, it's an opportunity for every guy who steps steps onto that plane to go, um, to, to leave behind a legacy, you know, to, to uh, represent your, your country in, in the biggest sporting event in the world. And, and if you're able to then have some success doing that, and if you're able to, um, you know, uh, play in a way that, that makes everybody back home watching proud and, and, and identify with you and the team, then it, it really allows, um, th that's when now the, the game and in, in, in our national team continues to just grow and grow. I don't mean to imply that there's any disrespect in the American program, but have you noticed as you go through friendlies and going through the World Cup that there is a greater appreciation from opponents about the value and the skill that American players have? Um, Sure, I think we're we're constantly fighting for for respect, you know, and and you earn that every time you step on the field, every every friendly game, every uh, you know, every chance that we get is a is an opportunity to to move ourselves forward, to improve as a team, but to also um, you know leave behind a little bit of a marker that says. Uh, we're improving and that we have good players and that we have a good team and obviously the biggest chance to do that is always at the World Cup because it's the, it's the biggest stage. Michael, what do, you make of, what do you make of Group G uh, with Portugal and Germany and Ghana? How do you think your team will fare? It's, it's the group of death for sure. Um, you know, and, and we understand that to, to have a real chance of getting out of this group that we now have to be as, as physically and as mentally ready as, as we've ever been and, and we're excited about that you know because you go to a World Cup and you know that to, to advance to do well you're gonna have to beat good teams and so you know we're getting good teams right away. Can I just ask you about World Cup readiness? Last one sorry guys Michael. World Cup readiness yeah. I'm sorry. Do you think Brazil is ready and are you worried about security? Um, having been been through this uh, last time in South Africa it was it was similar situ it was a similar situation um, you know at a certain point, 
you know, there's talk, are the stadiums going to be ready? Um, you know, what's the situation in the country? And still, uh, the World Cup is a powerful thing. You know, I think that it, it's able to, to kind of, um, it, it's bigger than any, uh, any one, one country, any, any uh, situation in, in, in a particular moment. It has a way of now, it stops the world in, in, that, in that moment. And so I, I certainly look at it from a positive point of view that says, you know, no matter what's gone on up until now, that now Brazil is going to be excited to have the, the world, um, you know, watching them and coming to them to, for, the, for this event. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Michael. Thanks, Michael.